Hello, everybody, and welcome to this brief demonstration from Dremio, the unified lakehouse platform for self-service analytics. And in this presentation, we want to talk about how you can reduce your Snowflake total cost of ownership by 50%, sometimes more. But again, to understand sort of how we're going to reduce your costs, we got to understand where those costs are coming from. So let's talk about that. I mean, you have one, you have data lock-in, okay, which is a problem. Not necessarily one that's driving costs, but one that potentially forces you to deal with the costs that you have for much longer than you'd like to, because you can't access the data efficiently without Snowflake's proprietary format. You have to have the data in Snowflake to take advantage of Snowflake, and it's kind of hard to get out of Snowflake, so your data gets kind of stuck there, and you're just kind of stuck with the bills that you have. And oftentimes, you end up spending more money because it's not really built truly for BI and self-service. Okay, due to Snowflake's performance sometimes, you're still finding yourself building external BI extracts and cubes to further enhance your BI dashboards. Okay, and oftentimes when people are thinking about the cost they have related to Snowflake, they don't real, they don't, not really factoring in the external cost that, that they have because they are using Snowflake and having to work around certain, um, uh, you know, imperfections. It can be very expensive to maintain. Data teams spend a lot of time resource maintaining. So even though you can optimize your Snowflake costs, you're spending money and time to do that optimization instead of it just being optimized to, well, not cost so much from the get-go. And then, of course, the expense of ETL. So when you're moving data into Snowflake, you have the fact that not only are you paying for the compute for that ETL work, the additional storage once you land the data, um, but also the egress costs uh, for moving it out of your data lake. Uh, from your object, uh, from your storage provider. And uh, the other factor also being that uh, those storage costs oftentimes grow unexpectedly because you don't realize that you're storing historical copies of your data in Snowflake because uh, of its uh, data retention policy, data retention policy defaults. So oftentimes people will delete data and realize and see their storage bill go up and realize it's because even though you deleted it, you still have that historical uh, record uh, being stored. Now let's just see some examples of people who've benefited from using Dremio to kind of help improve their Snowflake story. So here we have a story from a Fortune 10 customer who, who saw a 75% TCO savings and a 3 million savings in just one department. So let's take a look at what it was before. So basically they would ETL their data from their data lake. So again, the, we're assuming that you're only gonna have your data in your data lake regardless. So you have your data from your data lake, you have to pay for the ETL going into Snowflake, and then again, there's the egress cost, then you're storing that data in Snowflake, but then from Snowflake, you have to generate not just the initial copy of data that you just landed, but oftentimes you're building uh, physical ver uh, physical data marts um, for your different business lines. So you're creating multiple copies of that data in different variations uh, that you have to then also figure out how to keep in sync and maintain uh, throughout that process, okay? So and then again, you're doing all these transformations. It's additional compute, additional costs, okay? And we're talking about processing over 5 billion records that then on top of it to still make those dashboards be performant required of several different external extracts to be generated for 700 million records. And what did that all get you was essentially BI dashboards that every time you would turn a knob or flip a switch would take three to four minutes to update, okay? Now this customer, once they switched over to Dremio, okay, they started basically taking their data lake and instead of ETLing their data somewhere else, just operating directly from that data lake using the Dremio platform and then Dremio directly co connecting to Tableau, okay, and basically all the performance and acceleration being handled through the optimizations that are built into Dremio, they were able to see those clicks reduced to five to 15 second updates, okay? Um, this takes advantage of a feature in, in Dremio called reflections that basically eliminates the need to have all these different extracts and makes it simpler to not have to physically model your virtual um, your, your data marts, but to actually build virtual data marts built on logical views so you're not duplicating data as much, uh, enabling much better patterns that give you much better uh, time to insight. Okay, we're going from, you know, oftentimes going from, in this case, minutes to seconds, sometimes going from weeks to days to minutes and seconds. Now to show you another example, let's take a look at this global leader in manufacturing of commercial vehicles, okay? They experience a 91% lower TCO with Dremio compared to Snowflake, okay? Using the, this compute, so if you wanna see sort of the, the, the comparables, okay, here's the different types of uh, compute clusters that were used. So for Snowflake, it was a medium warehouse. For Dremio, it was five nodes of uh, medium 
uh, or of M5D two extra large um, nodes. And this is all on Azure. Um, and this was about four, uh, basically, what it, basically what it came down to is that when we ran that workload on Snowflake, that it cost $47.20 an hour to run the workload. On Dremio, it cost $4 an hour. Okay, again, a 91% savings. Same work, same data, okay? Um, basically, it was basic compute savings because you're able to do the job faster, okay? And then again, you're not paying such a huge markup on the compute because you're working more directly with compute directly from the cloud vendor um, using the Dremio Lakehouse platform. So a huge savings, okay? Um, and again, not including just that faster time to insight. Now, how does this generally look like if you want to incorporate Dremio into your existing sort of Snowflake world? Well, bottom line is you're probably e-tailing all your data sources into your data lake anyways. So Dremio just connects to your existing data lake. Um, you would then ETL that data as iceberg tables into that data lake that Dremio can then operate off of, okay? And then deliver that to your data science notebooks, applications, BI tools, and so forth. And then Snowflake would then just basically become an access point for its third-party data marketplace. Okay, so basically any day, because Dremio can connect directly to your Snowflake, so that way you can query your Snowflake tables from Dremio, um, which again, can be really useful for that way you can access that data that you might have purchased from the Snowflake marketplace to enrich data sets. But you can enrich data sets in Dremio, so that way you can enjoy the cost savings of not having to duplicate your data, of being able to have those uh, compute savings, um, and so forth in delivering your data to your different use cases. So we do have a white paper on this. So if you head over to dremio.com, you can find the white paper uh, that details all, gives you a lot of the details regarding uh, the savings uh, that customers have experienced when uh, basically moving a lot of those workloads from Snowflake to Dremio. But with that, I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy.